The peloton of 178 riders left the stage 2 start in Longford in light rain heading to Nina, a distance of over 160 kilometres. As the Ross headed through Ross Common and onto the only unpussed hotspot sprint of the day at 46.4 kilometres in Ballygar, Sam Bennett of unpussed Sean Kelly chain reaction took the bonus second. The peloton raced through Ballinus Low at speeds of over 60 km per hour, led by Richard Handley of Britain, Rafa Condor. Crossing the Shannon at Portumna after 122 km, a breakaway of 18 riders had gone clear. But by Carrick the race had come back together. With less than 20 km to the finish at Nina, 11 riders managed to open up a 50 seconds advantage on the chasing bunch that included the yellow jersey of Conor Dunn. Racing flat out, into Nina, it was a sprint between these 11 riders, with Shane Archibald of Unpuss Sean Kelly chain reaction taking the stage honours. We were here to win stages, or me in particular to win stages, I'm not here to ride for general. If I could ride myself into some form by the end of the week, or maybe it's a possibility, but right now we're just happy to win stages. So the stage two placings, first Shane Archibald of Unpuss Sean Kelly chain reaction, second Marcin Bilablocki of Britain UK youth pro cycling team, and third was Jasper de Boist of the Belgium national team. After stage two of Impost Ross 2013, the leader on GC is Peter Hawkins of Britain IG Sigma Sport, followed in second place, two seconds behind by Shane Archibald of Impost Sean Kelly Chain Reaction, with Marcin Bielablocki of the Britain UK Youth Pro Cycling Team in third place. I think there are some pretty big time gaps, so I think there's some guys that will be out of contention, and that's going to be—they're not going to be back in contention for the overall for the rest of the, the rest of the week. So I had an idea that that might have been the case. So uh, when, it's, when I was splitting, that's that's what I was looking for, and I think it can be a threat on the overall for the week.